Okay, I'm rolling. Okay. What do you think? It looks good. So you feel like you're ready to get started? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. He's not really happy with where he is. He kind of feels like he lives in inferior housing. And it is kind of a prison. It does make him really feel inadequate and sad. Snowy is our family's pet turtle. He lives in the corner of our basement. If there's anyone to feel guilty, it's you, Will. Yeah, you're a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> it starts with me. I was seven years old. I he had no friends, so my dad <laughs> thought it would be a good idea to get him a little buddy. He doesn't really say much or move around at all. Sometimes I think he's dead, and I go to tap him on the back, and then he wakes up, and he's alive. Did you ever think That's about bad. taking him to college? No. The thought never crossed my mind. It says it all. But you didn't really arrange for anything better for him? Yeah, you just... Oh, a, like, dad coming down every day. That's actually yeah, yeah, it's good art. Yeah, yeah, and I saw well, that. Like, you, that you was didn't great. really, you know... Yeah. Leave it out to die, yeah. I, you know? Kind of a scumbag, yeah. I didn't put it in. All right, Snow, we were going to clean the tank, buddy. All right, he's going to hang out there for a little bit. Definitely needs to be changed. I remember putting the tank in the passenger seat of Larry's car and saying, it's on you. <laughs> this is now your job. He would be really heartbroken if Snowy died. So that's why he makes sure to keep it alive. Larry's kind of a turtle on himself. That guy makes a lot of sense. Two peas in a pod. Done with the outside part. All right, Snowy, here it goes. I don't know if you even appreciate it's clean, but there you go. So why are you making this movie? Like, what was your motivation? We wanted to help Snowy. Was that really your motivation? Yeah. You really felt badly for the little sucker? Should we go out and see if we can dig up a worm? Worm time. See any worms? No worms for Snowy. Oh, I usually find them when I run. It's just in the winter time, it's a little bit more difficult. The worms are deeper, but during the summer, I'll actually carry them. I'll put them in my hand, or I'll bring a bag, and then I'll bring him a bunch of worms because he definitely loves his worms. Where to find worms? My wife actually bought him from the pet store, not knowing that he'd be living for 24 more years. So I'm not sure of his exact age, but it's at least 24. Boy, this is a long hold, huh? Thank you for following the Ardmore Hector, where we specialize. Yeah, I have a question for you. Do you carry earthworms? Yeah, we also have the night crawlers. The night crawlers, that'll be a real feast. Which ones are the night crawlers? Yeah, the orange ones are 18 counts and, and the, the green ones are 12. Yeah, I'll come back 12 is fine. All right, we got it. My snowy memories are the happy look on his face every time I throw him a big earthworm. Oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. He could be in his shell and not moving around and then you drop a big earthworm and he is just in attack mode. He looks totally excited. This is his hunting moment. Here he goes. See, he missed it. He just has to get it. Come on, Snowy, you can do it before this thing disappears. How much easier can I make it for you? Maybe he's a little anxious because he's being filmed and he's a little self-conscious. We're here all day. Well, this could take all day. Oh, oh come on. There we go. Maybe it's harder to hunt when you're older. He's like really having a hard time. Way to go, Snowy. This is like a Michelin three-star restaurant for him. Oh, oh no, Snowy, come on. <laughs> Jesus, he just barfed it up.
pretty happy because I think he likes the quiet life. There is a little bit of a disconnect because look at this poor freaking turtle and you're saying well, this turtle's happy. Well, so he, what's, he, what's, how can you account for because that? Because you can be fine, but you can always be better. I'm not sure he's ever had a well turtle check because I think he's pretty well. Because if he wasn't well, he probably would have died a long time ago. Snowy, let's get his weight, 147 grams. And then you haven't noticed anything different with his shell? No. No sign of any cracks. Everything looks great. Say, so check our little muscles on our little back legs. Say, so that one looks good. And we'll look at the underside. Check your shell down here. Oh dear, you're leaving me a present? Well, I didn't realize that that much comes out. <laughs> it's That's pretty impressive. So wait, you bring the turtle in. He had a rectal problem. <laughs> <Bed> cut. <laughs> Poor turtle. So, so what happened? Well, the, the turtle developed rectal prolapse where their intestines were coming. I think she was so excited that she, uh, in a bad way excited, I think she was so stressed out that. She or he? He, that her intestines came out, her. her his intestines. His intestines came out and uh, ultimately went back in. Should we go into the tortoises? Yeah. The tortoises will get excited. Hello, everybody. <gasps> Look, it's dinner time. They you guys fly to London, flew to, to, see London to, to see a turtle expert? Yeah. Yeah. Are you nuts? Come on. Come on. We are currently in the cold-blooded cognition lab, where I explore all aspects of cognition in reptiles, how animals perceive the world, how they learn, how they remember, and how they use that in their everyday lives. Tortoise. Number one is Moses. He started all of this work, and so is of course number one. Number two here is Wilhelmina. She's very inquisitive. Number three is Aldous. Number eight is Charles Darwin. Nine is Mozart, and number three hundred is Gerard Butler. As humans, we do like to see similarities between us and other animals. The pro is that if we start to see reptiles as more like us, we will start to potentially care for them better and care what happens to them more. But also, we need to remember that we can't and shouldn't treat them like mammals. Good night, night, everybody. Good night. You sleep well. <laughs> yes. Is there anything you can tell about Snowy's general state of health? So you can see he's not looking too happy in this. He's quite far in. His beak is broken, so that's probably not a great sign. We would expect the beak to come down like this. It's not clear that simply survival shows you're doing something right. It shows you're not doing everything wrong, but these guys are really remarkable survivors. Do you think Snowy has a capacity for happiness? It's difficult to say whether a turtle has a capacity for happiness because it's difficult to sort of say what happiness is. If it is to have desires and have your desires met, then certainly, because they would have a desire for food, you can meet that. They would have a desire for sun, you can meet that. So they do potentially, if that's what, for you, happiness means. Do you think Snowy recognises Larry? We found that the tortoises could remember the face of their carers and the voice of their carers. So yes, I think Snowy probably could recognise Larry. What Snowy, I think, would really enjoy having would be a bigger area with lots more things that he can explore and absolutely take him for those walks outside. He's going to love it.
I think he's like, wow, check it out. I mean, his world just got a thousand times bigger. A little fresh air, nice breeze, beautiful day. Great day to be a turtle. He thinks he's escaping or just exploring. All the things that we've learned on this journey have put him in a different light before this all started. It was just, oh, OK, I'm going down to feed the turtle. Now it's like snowy. I don't know what's going to happen there. <laughs> There's no big drops in the cage. Well, it is a turtle, and we're all pretending to know what the turtle's thinking or doing. But that's what makes it fun. If Snowy outlives you, what would he say at your funeral? He would say he was a good guy and a loyal master. He took care of me every day when, when there were times where nobody else was paying him any attention. He would honor you? I think so. This kind of love was made.